Arguably my favorite addition to GTA Online in recent years is definitely the career challenges. It completely revitalized the way that I play the game or have a desire to play GTA Online. Something that I was struggling with for quite a while because I reached a point in the game where I had done everything and there were no goals left and I was sitting often thinking to myself, okay, so what exactly do you do in this game? I would often joke about it on stream whenever I was back in free mode after having done a playlist with my community which you know if you want to join those you can probably follow me on twitch and on the link in the description shameless plugs aside i really didn't like that feeling because i really want to play the game i want to obviously have fun with the game while i'm streaming but aside from playing playlists i was kind of just feeling like okay what do i do now but with the release of the san andreas mercenaries dlc i even started playing the game while off stream which I'm gonna be honest with you, that hasn't happened to me in several years. The last time I have been this excited about playing GTA Online was during the Casino Heist, which was also shown in how much I was playing the game back then. After the Casino Heist period was over, I kind of find myself really getting more and more towards only finding enjoyment in playing stuff with my community because of the custom jobs that are made. The core game itself kind of felt like, yeah, I could go and grind like a hangar or a bunker or whatever, but there is really not much point because I don't need the money for it, there's no reason for me to do it other than the fact that number goes up. Now introducing the career challenges, completely changing it and giving me a host of different goals and reasons to go visit old content and I'm honestly loving it. The career challenges add so many long-term goals for new and existing players. Players that haven't been playing the game for the longest time and felt lost that they didn't really know what quite to do anymore because of the before mentioned I've done everything already and number goes up doesn't do it for me any longer. Obviously all this stuff is not meant to be knocked out in just a few weeks and it's really something that you're going to be spending the next couple of months on given how large some of these tier 4 challenges really are. Some stuff you've probably already done before like your vehicle enthusiast that just requires you to get a few things done and there you go you got yourself a bunch of reward and some money for effectively being a long-term player if you already did 50 million dollars worth of business sales well that's all good that's already ticked off too there's plenty of stuff in the game that's already been ticked off if you've been playing the game for a while or if you've been semi-active over the past few years where some of the other stuff like the old heist where you have to now get 50 million dollars for an armor karuma makes you start guessing twice whether or not that's actually going to be worth it now in my opinion i think the main goal for people that are going for those tier 4 challenges is probably more so the outfits that you get for them it really is that way of showing off to other people that yes i've gone through that grind and i have unlocked this outfit some folks will be satisfied with having done five tier 4 challenges and walk around with the mr slick michael outfit and others like myself are really not going to stop doing these until they're walking around like nico bellic but as cool as those outfits are i think we have to be realistic about a few things not everyone is going to sit there for months and months on end doing these career challenges for a nico bellic outfit i think we also have to keep in mind that some of us and i think most of us started playing gta 5 or gta online rather in the past few years and probably have never touched the older games so for those people, this reward is completely and utterly meaningless, aside from the fact that it's probably going to be one of the more rare outfits in the game because of how much time and effort it takes to get. But aside from those outfits, the individual rewards sometimes don't really reflect the time spent on those challenges. To give you an example here, like the Furia, a nearly $3 million supercar that will take you 30 to 40 hours of casino heist in order to unlock it. Whereas on the flip side, there's the Damon, a $145,000 bike that can also just be grabbed off the street, but requires you to spend 75 to 180 hours of being in the game because of that $25 million dollar bike at business requirement on top of the fact that it will require your millions upon millions of dollars to invest in those businesses in order to get there if you were to only use the cocaine business you'll be spending about 180 hours of resupplying waiting until it fills up going back to your business selling in public sessions if you choose to do so maybe getting your shit destroyed the list goes on for at the end of the line a few pieces of clothing and a bike that you could have grabbed off the street and also two hundred fifty thousand dollars but i don't think anyone is really doing this stuff solely for the sake of money but then you have the kaipa rico heist go earn 50 million dollars and your reward a fucking winky is this how you get your sick kid?
kicks. What? To continue on, Tuner Contracts, $5 million worth of contracts, here's a Turismo Classic. Casino, do a couple of missions, you get a Paragon R, one of the best sports cars in the game. Los Santos Drug Wars, 100 sourcing missions, $10 million in selling asset, 24 Platinum rewards, of which include having to spend 50 days of doing G's, Cashies and Stash Houses, and what do you get in return? A fucking RV! What a sick joke! And finally, arguably the best of them all, and I'd say the prime example of what the reward should be, the LD Organics van. It's a grind, but it's an exclusive vehicle that can only be acquired through doing these challenges. So as you can clearly tell, there is a gross imbalance in time investment versus reward in most of these cases. Now I'm not saying that, for example, the $5 million in contracts should be changed now to something more mediocre, but what I am saying is I don't think people want to spend about 40 hours worth the Kaya Perico heisting in order to unlock a Winky, whereas the options in the Kaya Perico heist are plenty. There's like other vehicles that could have been a good reward. Think for example the Itali RSX or the Toreador, two vehicles that are for the time and effort you would spend on this heist and getting that tier 4 reward would actually make it feel more worthwhile. Rockstar still could have stuck with the theme of the DLC but instead of giving a very mediocre vehicle, instead offer like a 25 to 50% discount on select vehicles from the DLC so players have a choice of what they would like their reward to be for spending all the time on that tier 4 challenge. Meanwhile tier 1 to 3 could perhaps implement other stuff rather than clothing as well. Maybe tier 1 unlocks a small discount and tier 2 unlocks a cash bonus, whereas tier 3 will unlock all the exclusive clothing items and tier 4 could be that big finale where you get the vehicle and an exclusive vehicle livery to really show off to everyone that you did reach that tier 4 goal. Or perhaps maybe even a one time double cash bonus to your business for having reached the tier 4 challenges and having completed them. This way each tier would have their own unique unlock and obviously it would give you a reason to go through the tiers rather than having tier 1 where you get a hat and then this kind of done. It is a bit of a double edged sword this one because most challenges for tier 1 and 2 and maybe even tier 3 unlock you a bunch of clothing which allows most folks to go and grab that if you desire to do so. So I don't think that the current system is necessarily completely flawed. I think the main flaws with the system currently are some of the tier 4 challenges that are being unlocked as the examples that I've given before. And I think it's also kind of obvious that this is kind of Rockstar's version of a season pass in GTA Online because of the fact that there's no way that they could possibly implement an actual season pass in the game now because it would only be on one version of the game. And I think this is another kind of like experiment that they're trying out. Perhaps this would be the season pass version for a GTA 6 Online. And honestly, I kind of like it. It allows people to go for specific paths to unlock the things that they desire to unlock. And obviously, Rockstar is undoubtedly going to add some form of a season pass later down the future. They have done it already with Red Dead Online and honestly that season pass was mostly fine. It unlocked you some coupons for free stuff, discounts, gold bars and the whole nine yards. And overall I thought that most of the time these rewards were pretty alright. But I think with a game like GTA there's definitely a lot more that they can do with them. Discounts on vehicles etc could already have been implemented within this career challenge feature. And I'd honestly love love Rockstar to expand upon this and maybe even go as far as to kind of rethink some of the rewards that they are giving to these career challenges. Though I do definitely see that being unlikely based on the fact that probably all this stuff is hard baked in and some people at this point might have already unlocked the daemon and it would be rather awkward to then change it to something completely different making it feel that they did everything for nothing. But those are my thoughts let me know yours in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more more and if you like what you see on the channel become a member like chloe gta plus left lane looney only fans made me do it notorious jam and the finewood car club and i'll see you all later he defecated through a sunroof